Howdy. So, if you saw my last video, you saw me doing the background for this piece, which I kind of hoped would be done. Um, it's not. I let it dry, and I'm like, oh, it's, it's, it's okay, but it needs some work. I've done a little, as you might be able to tell if you saw the, the last one, but I'm going to do some more work on the... Uh, Lovely greenery here. And I'm not quite sure how I'm going to start. I guess. Mm, let's start with the green. As you would probably guess. So, what I'm trying to do is. Uh, you know, did that all wrong. So what I want to do is start at the top, not the bottom. Because then the grass will be layered, more like it will appear naturally, where the grass down here is in front, and then each preceding layer of grass goes back and is slightly hidden by the rest. I'm going to use the same color, though. But I'm going to use a smaller brush. And so, I'm not going to do too much in the back, but I just want to get a little more definition in the grass. This is green. I think it's bamboo green that I'm using. I don't remember offhand. Uh, hopefully that sounds right. And a tiny bit of burnt umber. And then that's pretty watered down. So I just sort of this, what is this, a 3-0 brush? Oh yeah, you can tell already that there's just a little more, uh, a little more detail. Not a lot, but definitely needs a bit more, definitely, uh, brushy. So because this has this nice texture, um, where the paint, and I even think some of the paper broke up a little bit, probably not going to do a whole lot. Um, I'm not going to go in and do just tons and tons and tons of different blades of grass. I'm thinking I might even just... leave that as it is, and then, oh, Aurelian, which I was using uh, in the last video, which I really like more and more. I think some of the green and burnt umber that I was using, I think there's just a little bit of, well, it's a little more yellow than I wanted, but to look like things haven't quite just turned completely uh, yellow and burnt from the cold winter, but are sort of starting to get there a bit. So I guess next I'm going to move up. So I've considered putting in clumps of snow in this to really sort of indicate that it's definitely cold out, which is 
you know, ridiculous thing for someone wearing this. But that's part of the point. It's the sort of ridiculous, contradictory sort of nature of love. Would someone go out in this? No, probably not. But if their motivation was to sort of be alone, you know, to be able to explore however they want to dress, however they want to, you know, whatever identity they're building for themselves, is it possible? Well, it's not impossible. Or, you know, maybe it just like swinging when it's cold. Weirdos like that exist. I don't know. It's rare that I fully understand my work when I'm making it. I don't really think I ever fully understand it, and I don't think I really want to. I think that's part of the fun is, you know, having new things to discover. A lot of the work I've been doing is about, you know, identity and, you know, sort of having or creating spaces to be oneself. It also doesn't hurt that I really have an obsession with the landscape. Uh, probably because I started um, making art, seriously anyway, um, as a photographer and grew up you know, in a place with a lot of really sort of beautiful forested landscape. I say beautiful, but a lot of it was sort of, you know, areas that have been logged years to decades before and you know so you would have these cutouts where you could just see like mountains and other stands of trees just you know it's really kind of interesting um but it definitely sort of influenced my aesthetic to make landscape not as pretty in a certain way. I mean, it is pretty, but it's not pretty, beautiful pretty. It's more, I don't know, almost dystopian sort of pretty. It's just sort of, it's not nature as such. It's sort of places that aren't dominated by human beings, at least at all times, but I've definitely felt the touch of human occupation. Um, yeah, so I think that looks much better. I think what I want to do though, so there's sort of just a band that's not really got much in terms of leaves of, you know, leaves of grass. No, uh, blades of grass. Leaves of grass, what the fuck? Anyway, um, I just realized I have no idea what that phrase means, despite it being a book title. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is try to add in a bit of texture here and there, so you still have these sort of more empty spots that sort of indicate maybe the grass has been shoved down or there's a bit more of an incline, you know, there's a bit more undulation. It's maybe more of a tidal flat area, um, which is something I've always really wanted to get to draw and paint more. Really beautiful area in Provincetown. 
that I've only gotten to uh, spend much time at with supplies to actually do any painting a couple times. And, eh, oops. I didn't do a very good job, frankly. So I think what I'm going to do now is actually add a little more paint. Yeah, so I have a slightly Found this is a really efficient way to do the grass and that sort of thing. It's just the brush sort of like this and just sort of flick out it's a very light contact. Um, I'm sure there are better ways to do this. I'm sure someone else has done before, but that's what I've sort of figured out for myself because I am too stubborn to actually learn how you're supposed to do most of this stuff, apparently. Uh, so now I'm going to add a bit of white. Just a little bit of the leftover blue. I don't know how much I want to leave of the of the white, but but I don't really want it to be as monochromatically. No, is that even the right word? No, it's not. Um, I don't want it to be as, I don't know, I'm not sure what the word I'm looking for is, but I want it to have a little more variety. Okay. So yeah, with that, I'm going to let dry and uh, see where that goes. And hopefully, yeah, I'm just not sure what I'm doing with the uh, with the sky. So we have to think a bit more about that, and you know, see what it's like when it's dry. And then hopefully, in the next video, I can actually start working on the body, which should be very interesting.